Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPIC DC video, and in today's video, we're taking the new 5 plus free to play Goldie Roger and a full free to play team into Garb's Challenge Heavenly Demon 2. So that was the team, those are the supports. Let's dive on in. Now, this run is doable thanks to the friend captain of Ace Yamato, as well as the amazing 4.5 times captain multiplier that the new 5 plus Roger actually provides for us. And with the help of Ace and Yamato, we can actually remove blinds, we can remove special blinds, we have a burn mechanic, we have an attack boost, we have a chain boundary, and it all works out really, very, very, very nicely. Being a free spirit booster as well, Roger can sort of pair up with Ace Yamato very, very well, as well as Ace Yamato activating his super class mechanic. Roger does have a super class, you do need something like an Ace, Odin, Neko, Inu, um, Crocus, Rayleigh, all those types of characters on the team, and with Ace Yamato as our friend captain, we actually get that fairly nicely. Now, we do have Clash Ace here, though. Clash Ace is another really, really good character. He's our block orb manipulator for this particular team. He's also an orb booster, which is great, but he's mainly here to rotate block orbs. We have Kawamatsu, the arena, the best arena character in the game. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm honestly saying it right now. I use this guy so much. He is the best arena character in the entire game. We have the new treasure map, Sabo. Actually, very, very good character. I'm actually super impressed with this Sabo. On paper, when I first read him, I was kind of like, eh, he's good, but, like, I don't really see myself using him. But, nevertheless, I've used him quite a bit, especially for these free-to-play runs. And then finally, we've got Treasure Map Raiju. Treasure Map Raiju is a goat for this. She's not getting boosted under either Ace Yamato or Roger, but she removes paralysis with her Sailor, uh, and it's basically essential that we have that. Otherwise, you can't get through this. Like, it's as simple as that. You need a, a Sailor that can remove one turn of paralysis for the entire crew. Something like Time Skip Nami, um, Stampede Buggy, all those types of characters work very, very nicely. As you guys saw, I guess, Monet... We removed the blind thanks to Ace Yamato, and then we took, it, took her out easy peasy. On the Virgo stage, um, Virgo has a extra HP barrier, as well as doing like a 90% HP cut. You can't use an orb boost or... Yeah, you can't use an orb boost on this particular stage. So that's why we're going to actually activate Kawamatsu special, as well as one of our Roger. Roger has double special, special activation, which means that you can actually activate his special like more than once in a run, and I think in this run we actually activate it three times, which is super nice. On the Caesar stage, we get a full board of block orbs, and he poisons us. So that's why having not only Raiju on the team to remove all the paralysis is great, but she has access to the Shiryu support. Treasure Map Shiryu is a free-to-play character. Head over to the Treasure Map shop to pick him up. He's great. He goes on any in character, and whenever you are inflicted with poison, he'll just remove it, which is absolutely phenomenal. That way, not only does this free-to-play team work, it does it without poison sockets, which is actually actually insane. We used the Ace special there. We had the Gary over the orb boost thanks to Kalamatsu anyway, but Ace can remove those block orbs, which is very, very nice and very, very handy of him. Moving on to Pika now. Pika has two turns of defense up. It gives us chain coefficient reduction. And on this particular stage, you need a chain lock. Otherwise, Pika will give you 99 turns of a 1.1 chain boundary. We're going to switch with our um, Ace Yamato for this particular fight. And that way, we apply the burn mechanic. And then on the first turn, we're just going to try and do as much damage as we possibly can. We are going to take two shots against Pika here. Because we have damage reduction thanks to Roger, we are going to take him out on the second turn once we do get this super switch of Ace Yamato to give us that 100 times burn. Once we have that, we're going to use the Ace Yamato special. I'm pretty sure anyway. That's going to give us a 2.75 times attack boost, a 1.75 times conditional. And with all that, we should be able to take out Pika. No issues whatsoever. Yeah, beautiful. There it is. We also get two turns of cooldowns for the characters that have already used their, uh, their specials. Namely, the Roger, Ace, and Kawamatsu. With Roger, he gives two turns of a um, base stat boost or base attack boost. So we still actually have that on the second turn as well, which works out very, very nicely for this particular team. Moving into Treble and Sugar now, they give us a full bit of Dex Orbs, which they make unfavorable. And they slot blind our left-hand side. Now, none of these characters have slot blind removal, which is so freaking annoying. So, um, we actually have to cop that slot blind. Nevertheless, we do have Sabo on the right-hand side. We can activate Sabo's special here. Sabo is going to give us the chain boundary between 3 and 5. And then we can use the super class of Roger to get a 1.75 times attack boost. As you guys will see here, we have so much damage that we can actually just, like, take this stage out easy peasy. It's wild. The fact that Sabo gives two tandem orbs means we have two matching orbs as well. So, Roger and Ace are actually hitting fairly hard. But as you guys saw, even through the slot blind, like, Ace Yamato is going absolutely brr. On to Gladius, Markvice, and Senior Pink now. They have five turns of damage reduction, which we can remove 
with our Raju. Raju is great because, like I said, she removes paralysis. She has Cheerio support. But she can also remove damage reduction, which you do find on this particular stage. We're basically going to take our time here, as we do need to get our specials back. So, we're basically going to hang around on this stage, or hang around on Gladius, until he says, um, I'll clean this up. But on the first turn, you really want to make sure you take down Mark Vice. It's very, very important that you do that. This team as well, uh, something I haven't mentioned, is this team is so tanky. Like, it's so ridiculously tanky. Like, we are almost back to full HP, and this is Dofi too. Like, Dofi too, you don't, you're normally playing with low HP. But thanks to Ace and Yamato having, like, damage reduction and healing, um, you just get so much healing. Like, it's so much healing, man. So much healing. So, this team has no issues whatsoever. I've actually ran, like, pay-to-play teams that do it, like, that are, like, do it harder than what this team can do. It's just, Ace Yamato, just, they, they're cracked, man. They're so good. They're so freaking good. Once, um, once you, when you are attacking Gladius 2, by the way, make sure you don't go below his ear, otherwise he will kill you. That is something to note. Like, it's something... You don't want to do that. He'll give you like 50 tons of paralysis or something silly. There he goes there. So he says, I'll clean this up. Once he says, I'll clean this up, we're going to activate our Kawamatsu special. Kawamatsu is going to give us an attack boost, but namely he gives us the clock buff. Now, the reason we want to get the clock buff is that way we actually carry an orb buff into the next stage against Diamante. Now, because we got slot blinded, we actually kept those dex orbs from the treble and sugar stage. And then we got all blocks so we still have our tandem and our dex orbs and stuff like that then we get our all block back thanks to kawamatsu so it all works out pretty nicely here because we keep like a full board of orbs as well once we move into diamante stage we're going to switch into ace very important that you're switching into ace because you want to make sure that you are switching into yamato on the final stage and as you guys will see here we actually take out diamante in one turn like a 4.5 times free to play captain is nothing to scoff at like it is actually insane like it's this, this Roger is so good. Like, he's so, so good. And then you can partner up with some crazy legends like the new Luffy and the new Ake Yamato. It's, just, it's absolutely wild. Moving into the final stage against the Doflamingos, we get a full board of block orbs. They have two turns of defense up, and they don't allow you to use color affinity. So we're going to use our, our Clash Ace special here. Clash Ace is going to give us an orb buff to our free spirit characters, as well as rotate those block orbs. We're going to use Ace Yamato to give us a 2.75 times attack boost. And then we're going to remove the defense up, and we're going to give ourselves a base stat boost with the amazing goldie roger special now this special is actually god tier like this special is legend worthy like it's wild i love it i'm really impressed with what they've done with this roger when i first read his kit i was kind of like yeah he's good but like cool like like don't get me wrong like i'm never really gonna be running him as captain but doing showcases like and doing stuff like this was actually ridiculously easy and was a ridiculously fun I even tried to get the final kill with Roger, but it just, the team had too much damage. So, there you guys go. That was a free-to-play team taking on Garb Challenge Heavenly Demon 2. Doing it very comfortably. Doing it very easily with no issues whatsoever. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to go down there and build the like button for me. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button. But guys, if you are in this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, I thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Late!